Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm showing you the 2993 floor plan built by KB Homes. We have in this model two primary bedrooms, one downstairs and one downstairs. So really, really cool option that they offer here in Inspirada. Inspirada is where we're located, as I mentioned. We have a master plan community over here in Henderson. We're located in the south side of the Las Vegas Valley. Really, really nice neighborhood uh, with lots of uh, community pools, lots of activities for kids, you know, sports, uh, outdoors living activities. A very, very nice community. It also has some nice uh, strip and uh, mountain views. If you uh, want a lot with that, you can also, uh, if you're lucky, you know, to have one lot available with that, you can do it. As a matter of fact, they do have a waiting list on this uh, specific neighborhood. It's probably the only uh, neighborhood that still has a waiting list here in Las Vegas. As we walk in, we have 2,993 square feet, up to six bedrooms for this house. We have... Uh, nice of the floor plan on this one the majority of the living space is all here to the left side then we have the owner suite into the in the back over there as you can see right here we have our owner suite downstairs over there laundry room is also downstairs garage access and then right here you can go upstairs which will bring you over to the second floor that has uh, you know, optionally an extra owner suite upstairs with another four bedrooms if you want to, up to four bedrooms or three bedrooms and a loft. All right, walking in, we have a nice uh, spacious entry with uh, plenty of room right here for a bench if you want to put one of those or something like this, you know, some kind of furniture. We have your powder room over here to the left with your pedestal sink. Uh, they did upgrade here to a luxury vinyl plank floor. Uh, this is not the included option. It comes with a tile in the wet rooms. Uh, so all your bathrooms, laundry room and kitchen, and also your entry right here will get a little bit of tile. Then everywhere in here, you'll get carpet throughout the, the whole living room, okay? And dining room as well. Now uh, we have uh, over to the left, a linen closet. This is actually the option that they have for your powder room as well. This is the one that they showed into this video, okay? But they also have an option to make this pantry a little bit bigger. As you can see, this pantry down here is bigger by pushing everything out and making this powder room, you know, uh, next to each other here, the sink and your uh, toilet. So it gives a little bit extra room for your pantry. Okay, that's uh, the option. It's just a few hundred dollars difference. It doesn't really make a big difference. So that pantry will be a little bit deeper uh, because you would have a little bit more space moving this coat closet down. And then right there you have um, your powder room. Now, this option right here has a little island, uh, which is optional. You don't have to get this one. Um, we do have uh, your per first upgrade right here. We have the thermofoil uh, cabinets, you know, with uh, the shaker finish on it. Uh, this is the Ellis pure uh, gray style uh, cabinet. This is gonna run you probably around $4,000 with the builder if you were to upgrade this throughout the house. Uh, if you want to add uh, hardware, you're looking at another five to $600. Your included appliances are actually these ones that you see. Uh, it would only come with a four burner, not with a five burner. And then uh, on the microwave, it'll come with the hood and the microwave wouldn't be there. You can add the microwave for $250. We have your cabinets don't have anything uh, special, you know, just regular uh, staple cabinets right here to the side. If you do the soft close, it will give you the ductile finish uh, with, uh, you know, with the soft close finish. So it doesn't make that noise. And then also you, you can add, you can add specifically uh, soft close only to the cabinets, uh, drawers, only to the cabinet doors or to both, uh, to whatever you want. You can also add here in the kitchen, your pull out trays. These are going to run you three to 400 each. Uh, so you can add as many as you want. And then you have a trash, uh, pull out, which 
they don't have here. Uh, nope, they didn't add in this model, but you have the option to do that as well. Let's go see that pantry really quick. There we go, this is the smaller pantry option. What do we have here? Oh, you can also uh, choose the porch, you know, uh, well, it comes with that porch uh, right there. And then you have uh, just a different, you know, configuration that we saw on the other side. Okay. Now, love this peninsula island. It will give you enough space right there to probably put like three, even four chairs counter height. Okay. So that's nice. Uh, rear pool, a refrigerator is not included. You would have to add that. Garage is a two car garage. And then you get right here a uh, laundry room where you can put your washer, dryer, and they'll get, it'll come with that rack on top. Um, you know, nothing special. If you want, you can also add a design center there. Uh, the cabinets, those are gonna run you two to 3,000. You have a nice size living room here. It's very spacious. Uh, 3,000 square feet, you got your dining room right here in between your kitchen and living room. They did upgrade, uh, you know, that sliding door to a little bit wider sliding door. It comes with about six feet wide, so up to there. They upgraded it all the way out to what it is right now. Uh, for about $1,600 is that upgrade right now. As you go outside, we'll get a really nice size lot. This is... Depending on which lot you get, you might get a bigger lot than this one or smaller. Uh, but, you know, pretty good size lot on this one. Definitely pool size. As you can see. Um, this lot, so this floor plan, first of all, starts at $577,000 for the least expensive elevation. Uh, after that, you would have to add on top of it your lot premium, which can range anywhere between 25,000 going up to 50,000, 60,000, depending on the lot size. And then uh, depending also if it has a strip view or not, or if it has any mountain views, it might cost more or less, okay? But you're looking at, let's say an entry level lot, something probably about this size backyard. So still a really good size, still a full size lot. Uh, you're looking at approximately you know 30 grand so with 577 starting price you're at 607 um, starting price plus any upgrades that you add into the house which is what you see right now we have a luxury vinyl plank right here in the on the first floor added that's going to run you approximately around 14,000 for this specific style i don't know if they still have it in stock uh, but a luxury vinyl plank that's going to you know thousand more thousand less and then they also upgraded here the countertops to a quartz, which is um, it's optional at Design Center. But this is probably gonna run you around 5,000 or so to add this kind of quartz. Otherwise you can get the included option, which is uh, you get two choices of granite countertops right here. Uh, you get the 36 inch uh, cabinets. It's gonna be in maple or birch, um, you know, maple uh, color or more of a light brown color and then uh, you can do you know you can upgrade from there to anything you want here's your uh owner suite downstairs Hold on. I forgot to show you guys this uh extra spot right here which is a storage area as well as a coat closet then you got some storage room down there now this is your owner suite downstairs we're looking at a I'd say 14 by 16 really really good size we have your king size bed california king size bed still has plenty of room around it then you have six foot eight doors we have nine foot ceilings on the first floor including the base price here in inspirata that's an option that they don't have in other communities also the option for about four thousand five hundred dollars for your walk-in shower here with uh, with the Piedrafina quartz uh, wall surround. Uh, now they did upgrade um, the fixtures and the trims here to the brush nickel. 
that's going to run you another probably 1500 or so to add that um, and then they also upgraded the shower head and the valve also your faucets here are upgraded to the brush nickel finish they upgraded to the other mounted sinks right here for about three hundred dollars if you want to do all the sinks and all the faucets in the house with the brush nickel it's probably going to run you around uh you know another 1500 or so if you want to do something like the black finish uh the the matte black is going to run you around 30 3200 or so uh Fina, of course this is the included option in the bathrooms okay you got the same cabins that you saw out there in the kitchen they did not opt for the hardware which is going to run you about five to six hundred dollars now they did upgrade this tile nice spanish looking tile um i'm not sure the price of it and then right here we have have never had a, ch a client that actually chose it and then a good size walk-in closet it's nice oh you hear this noise right here that's why you hire an inspector in the house so sometimes what KB does is, uh, and I had this issue with a client up in North Las Vegas that bought a KB. Um, there's a coil line right here over to uh, behind the, the wall right here. Uh, it's the AC unit, right? So when the Freon goes up in that coil line, um, in, that, in that Freon line, it vibrates. So it hits some kind of stud or something with a drywall, causing that vibration and that noise in the house. So that's something that you know, that's why you hire a realtor, you hire an inspector to help you out with this so that, you know, they are experienced and know what to look out for when you're purchasing a home. Um, and, you know, someone that can be next to you the whole time and guide you throughout the whole process. Uh, which, by the way, if you, shameless plug, if you need a realtor to help you out, feel free to reach out to me. All my information is down below. Now, this model is, uh, is um, how do you say it? It's, uh, it's been an uh, option with uh, three bedrooms and a loft, okay? It does not have the second owner suite here because they didn't choose it in this floor plan. Uh, but you could, sorry, it does have it, my bad. So it does have the owner suite right here to the, to the left. Now, the stairs are technically a little bit different on the included option. It'll have a different path where uh, the stairs come out from here. You have a um, you know different configuration upstairs, but you have three bedrooms, a loft, and a game room upstairs. That's the included option. You can add, which would be technically four bedrooms, right? Because you have the owner suite downstairs, three bedrooms upstairs, plus the uh, the game room and the loft, right? Now the loft would be back there, and this would be the game room. Once you choose to add. Uh, the owner suite upstairs that would take this place this space right here and then uh, the uh, With the extra three bedrooms and the loft perfect If you want you can add a regular bedroom if you want to right here um, Sorry the regular bedroom right here keeping this as the loft or you can add both owner suite bedroom right here and then over there you have the three bedrooms um, those options are, uh, you know, they really vary a lot, so I'm not going to go and guesstimate those. Uh, but if you want, if you need more information on that, how much it costs, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be glad to assist you. Really, really good size. This is your game room option right here. And then that would be uh, the, the, the loft, which would have the access from somewhere over here. It's a different layout completely when it's the included option when you, turn, when you take those... Uh, What's it called? Um, when you take that owner suite and you add it, it makes the, the place completely different. We have right here the first bedroom. This is spacious. I mean, we're looking at 11 by 14 right here. Very nice. Walk-in closet as well. As you can see. Look at that. Yeah, that's nice. Queen size bed here. Plenty of room. That would be the first bedroom. The uh, second one is right there. We're gonna go see you in a second. We have uh, your bathroom in between right here, which is uh, double undermount sinks. Now they added the second sink for about $1,400. Uh, if you wanna do that, they also added the undermounted sinks 
Uh, so it's gonna be another 300 per sink. As I mentioned, brush nickel finish they added. And then this is used to be actually one of the included tiles in the base price, but they have some nicer options right now. So, um, you know, you can go to their design center and, and uh, figure that out. Fiberglass enclosure, tub and shower combo, that's the included option. If you want, you can get a walk-in shower here for about 1500, or you can upgrade to, you know, like a, uh, with, a, with the fiberglass finish, you can upgrade to a tile one for another uh, $1,000, you know, to the, you can do the slab as well on the shower surround. So many options that you can choose from really really good size bedroom as well here we have about 12 by 13 on this one very spacious okay now that does not come with a light in the bedroom it will come with a, a half hot switch so you can put your lamp uh, if you want to add that it's going to cost you around 300 dollars each it will add an extra switch right here because right now you have a, just a lamp which will be this one then you can add uh, this one is the half hot so it will control the, the the lamp on your nightstand if you add the ceiling fan pre-wire it will give you two switches so one will control the fan one will control the lights so those are the the two bedrooms back here now you could do technically right here another bedroom uh, and then with the loft and then you can have uh, the owner suite right there. Okay, so adding an extra two bedrooms It's so complicated because it changes completely the the floor plan upstairs the way these homes are built is On top of the uh, over the ceiling right here. You have uh, these trusts where the ceiling is, you know It has a slope right there and that carries all the weight goes onto the outside walls the perimeter walls so in here on the second floor, there's no weight bearing walls on the second floor which means they can reconfigure the whole layout completely if you go to their website you can see that layout by the way we have right here um, your pony walls finish right here that's the included option you can upgrade to Cerro's if you want to it's gonna cost you around 1500 to do so and then here's the second owner suite upstairs really spacious this is about 20 feet by 17 yes yeah, 17 by 20 right here really nice and then in this option in this uh, floor plan they opted for the extended shower and tub option that's gonna run you about six thousand five hundred dollars then they have uh, the under mounted sinks as I mentioned which is 300 each your powder sorry your uh, water closet right there brush nickel trim here upgraded and then right here glass door Really nice with your Piedrafina quartz uh, surround. And then you have right here another closet, which is very, very spacious. So yeah, really, really excited about this floor plan. I really like it because it does give you that option to have two owner suite, one downstairs and one upstairs. If you're a buyer that needs that kind of home, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be glad to assist you and uh, show you, guide you through the whole process of purchasing this home. Uh, all my information is down below in the description. Also, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this house and I'll see you in the next video.